Welcome to Engineering Funda family. This video is a part of Network Theory lecture series and in this video I will be going to explain you RC series circuit phasor diagram. So here with RC series circuit I will explain you how voltage and current phases are there and that I will explain you by phasor diagram as well as by waveforms. So that will give you clear idea about how RC circuit is there in series. So here if you observe R and C are there in series and if you see current passing through both of these element is same. So I will consider this current as reference for a drawing of phasor diagram. So my dear students as I have said current is same in both. So I will be considering current as a reference. So if I say current is I of T that is I m sin omega t. In terms of phase you can represent that as I bar that is equals to magnitude is I m and angle is 0. So I have considered current as a reference means it is having 0 angle. Now my dear students we are delivered to understand what will happen with voltage. So this V of t that will get divided into R and C. So here current is entering. So with R voltage will be Vr and with C voltage will be Vc. So here how much value is there with voltage? So what I will do is I will explain you that in terms of phase here. So if I write Vr in terms of phase then that will be current in terms of phase into impedance of R that is R only. So I can say I phase that is I m angle 0. So I can say I m into R angle 0 that will be V R in terms of phase. Now let us see what is V C in terms of phase. So V C in terms of phase it will be current I in terms of phase into impedance Z C. So I in terms of phase that is I m angle 0 and Z C that is 1 by j omega c. Now my dear students omega c is the magnitude. So you can write magnitude is i m by omega c and 1 by j is minus 90 degree. So 0 plus minus 90 degree that will make it to minus 90 degree phase with v c. So v r is having 0 phase and v c is having minus 90 degree phase. Now my dear students if you apply KVL in loop then total voltage in terms of phase that will be voltage across resistance so that is VR in terms of phase plus voltage across capacitance means VC in terms of phase. Now we already know VR in terms of phase that is IM into R angle 0 plus Vc in terms of phase that is Im by omega c angle minus 90. So now we have voltage and current in terms of phase. So once we have voltage and current in terms of phase we can draw phasor diagram of it. So my dear students if you observe current is our reference right which is having magnitude Im and angle 0. So what I will do is I will be drawing current over here that is having magnitude I m and angle 0. Now my dear students what I will do is I will plot voltage. So voltage is having two components you can observe. One component is V r which is having angle 0 and second component is V c that is having angle minus 90. So let us plot first V r which is having angle 0. So you see it will get overlap over this current. So let us say this is my Vr in terms of phase its value is Im into R angle 0. Now Vc in terms of phase that is having minus 90 degree angle. So from here I need to plot Vc and it is having minus 90 degree means it should go in downward direction. So this is my Vc in terms of phase and its magnitude is I m by omega c and its angle is minus 90. 
now if you want resultant of this two voltages then simply you will have to connect diagonal line over here so resultant will be vr plus vc but this is there in terms of phase right so what i want is now i wanted to have magnitude and this phase angle so my dear students you should know this phase angle that we can identify from this triangle and magnitude that will be simply as per pythagoras theorem we can have so let us identify that so magnitude of voltage that will be here it will be square root of this component square plus this component square so this vr square that is having magnitude im into r whole square plus this vc square that is im divided by omega c square so here you see im that is common so just take it outside into square root of you will be having r square plus 1 divided by omega c whole square so this is a magnitude of voltage now what is the phase over here so you see here phase is phi and if you consider 10 phi then opposite by adjacent means vc divided by vr that will be 10 phi so i can say phi is 10 inverse vc divided by vr and you can substitute the value of magnitude to get the value of phase so here if you observe this is downward angle so downward angle is always negative consider that so here i am writing minus 10 inverse of vc by vr where vc is im by omega c and vr is im into r so this im will get cancelled and you will be having minus 10 inverse 1 divided by omega c r that will be a phase of rc circuit so here one thing is very clear from this diagram you can say that voltage lags by phi angle with respect to current in rc series circuit or you can say that current leads by phi angle with respect to voltage in rc series circuit so this is about phasor understanding of rc circuit and here one very essential key point that you must remember impedance so when we talk about rc impedance then impedance will be as per impedance of r plus impedance of c so here impedance of r that is r only but if you talk about impedance of capacitance then that is minus j divided by omega c so this is also very essential point that you need to note down and in terms of magnitude and angle you can represent that as per square root of r square and real part square plus imaginary part square so plus 1 by omega c whole square this is magnitude and with angle there will be phase angle phi which is similar to the phase angle which we have calculated right so i'm just writing phi over here that is minus 10 inverse 1 by omega c by r that is minus of 10 inverse omega c by r as per imaginary part divided by real part now my dear students as i have explained that voltage leads by phi with respect to current and current lags by phi with respect to voltage let me show it by waveform so if you observe initially we have considered this current is i m sin omega t as a reference it is having zero phase so here first i need to plot i m sin omega t so it should start from zero magnitude and sin will be like this let me draw it first so this is sin omega t with magnitude i m so i can say this is i of t that is i m sin omega t now as per rc circuit voltage lags by angle phi so voltage lags by angle phi means what it will get started by phi angle delay so if i say 
here phi angle that is happening by this much delay. So, your voltage waveform that should start from here. So, you see I am just drawing it. So, this is having magnitude Vm and this is V of t that is Vm sin omega t minus phi. So, you can observe voltage is delayed by angle phi. So, in terms of voltage you can represent that where Vm is how much? Vm is Im into square root of r square plus 1 by omega c whole square. So, this is how we can represent that in time domain. So, I hope my dear students you have understood how RC circuit will react with respect to phase. So, in that you should note down this. Here voltage will lag by angle phi in RC series circuit and in RL series voltage will lead by angle phi and that magnitude that we can identify as per the value of R and L and frequency which is what we are giving it as a source. So, I think now it is clear to you how we can have phasor diagram of RC circuit. In next video, I will explain you RLC series circuit with its phasor diagram. I hope you have understood this. Thank you so much for watching this video.